Okay, guys. Good morning. And the uh, okay, we're gonna start it today. Uh, training, booking okay, training, is for the uh, um farming. Okay, farming is for LA mainly for listing agent. Okay, if you may want to get more listing. Okay, listing is the key, right? In the uh, in the career, this real estate career, this business. Uh, most of the time, people are asking for uh, to be a listing agent. Okay, one of my students is doing very good and he's doing very good with listing. Okay, he tried to uh, to get his uh, um, this the base fundamental things going first. Okay, and uh, it becomes a uh, you know just a, a good high volume um, business. Uh, agent first, okay. But if you want to do that, basically, you have to become uh, a more um, familiar, okay, with the area, farming area, and everything, uh, so that you can get your listing. If people, if people doesn't know you, right? If you don't know you, uh, they won't give their home for to you, get you to to sell it, you know. And that's why. You see, if the uh, the champion agent, the uh, you know top ten agent, why their business is good because they keep getting familiar with the uh, with the uh, with the people, with the uh, with the clients uh, in the area that they're familiar. With. Okay, so when the reputation getting up, people will could find fame, right? So, but firstly, for most of people, you're new to this business. You will have to spend your time, right? You you have to work on it, work on the area, work on the uh, label, work on the uh, destinator, you, you, wherever you want. But because definitely you have to find out if this area is already, you know, so many agent being working on that or not, right? So that's uh, another topic. You know, you have to choose which farm area. But if you live, 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 live in that area, around the area, then I I, I guess. That's probably the area you can work on because you are there, right? So you can start working on that. That that's the way uh, it works. Okay, so um, the traditional way of farming practice. Uh, uh, this topic I already, I think it's three times already in, in the training. Um, but we're gonna mention again because uh, if you ask many uh, experienced, okay. With the pretty good, uh, uh, just uh, you know, yeah, uh, every year with the uh, war winners, uh, the experienced agent, the brokers, you can ask them, well, How will you be so successful? They will tell you, You have to do the farming, you have to go out, you have to do the transitional way, okay? Do not use the online method or something like that. They, they prefer to do face to face, okay, in person. Uh, meeting the clan, lock the door, okay? Uh, that's the, the main winning formula for them, okay? Of course, this is not a simple thing because uh, locking the door means you people are gonna slam you back the door, right? So they will say, oh, I'm not interested, bye-bye. Oh, you don't disturb me anymore, okay? Uh, why you keep disturbing me? Oh, you get in trouble, say, I already mentioned in my uh, listing, if this listing is not selling, not sold, then you shouldn't be bothered. Okay, so one of the complaints we have before is the, the owner uh, just mentioned that uh, in the complaint saying already uh, check the option that do not disturb if this listing is terminated or something like that. But one of the uh, the agents go over lot the door and then the, the owner didn't say anything, just keep. Just kept the uh, the uh, business card and the uh, phone number and then start the uh, complaint process. Okay, the reason they have is I already told you guys not to bother to disturb me, but you still come in. But of course, the agent can depend, right? You know, I didn't know, just get from in the area and you are just the labor or something like that. But it, it just could be a, a little bit trouble, right? The hassles is not really, a, but you can, you can resolve it. But that means farming, it's actually pretty tough work. It's not easy work, okay? If it's easy work, everybody become a winner, right? So we're talking about you have to spend time and resource, but you're not getting 
really good uh, returns. You know, you got to practice. You got to make yourself go to there, right? And then do something. So the first thing you can try is with your own listing or your friends, coworkers listings. Okay. So your own listing, your house, you know, for sale or your your relative house or okay? your friends, close friends, good friends, right? Then you put up the the uh, open house sign, right? Uh, that's that's a uh, really uh, good timing or, or the best opportunity for you to do the farming for the area because you have one. Uh, listing already, you know what I mean? So it's an active listing with the open house sign every Saturday, Sunday, you go there, right? And uh, you got your open house sign up and then you can tell, oh, I, I'm, uh, you, you lock the door, you give them the flyer saying, hey, I have a, a open house coming this Saturday or see Sunday afternoon, one o'clock. So if you have time, if you are you're free, please come by, we can talk, you know, something like that. And they will say, oh, okay, uh, you're the guy, right? Uh, so how much you're selling and something like that. They, then you stop the conversation, you know what I mean? Get yourself a mirror. If you want to be work on this area, this is your farming area. Okay, this is the excellent opportunity. Okay, I'm not saying this you're win, but this is the excellent opportunity of a chance for you to get out and to become familiar with the people over there, okay? Uh, most of the time you may get rejected by people just you know open up the uh, the door saying you are the real estate agent they say oh I'm not uh, able to talk anything right now I'm sorry and then and, and even like kind of the most likely your flyer or your card is just going to the trash okay but that's okay you know this is not just one time work okay you you do this week next week you know before your open house sell the flyer okay. During the time, the day of the open house, you go to visit the neighbors, get on the fire again. After so, you go to visit them again. So at least three times, you know what I mean? So they only know you, right? Three times uh, you are the guys sold the house. Oh, how much you sold? Something like that, okay? Then you can say, oh, I still have uh, some current day buyers interest in this area. Would you like to uh, sell your house? Or you, you like you your friend like to sell your house uh, sell the house something like that okay so that's the uh, idea okay of course you want to get practiced as your you can find your own way okay but uh, uh, I think the um, may have some training about the farming I don't know okay but usually they will go with the uh, the team the team effort okay you could join the team and then the the, uh, the the team leader will bring you over there. Uh, I was the I was the in a team of the acquire. Uh, at the time, it's number one team teamwork, and then uh, the team leader was teaching a lot about this, showing a lot of this. So okay. So another good thing is you have to uh, uh, because we have uh, around two thousand agents, right? So we we are very active in the in the listing uh, listing and. Uh, and the transactions, right? So sometimes the agent is too busy, okay, or the, the broker is too busy. So you, you would leave a message in the chat group, okay? I don't know which chat group you are you're in, but uh, if you look at the chat group, you know, around the uh, the weekdays, the weeknights, and then uh, if you, someone asks, somebody can help me do the open house, you will raise your hand immediately, okay? That's your number one chance to get the, uh, your farming Okay, you may get to know the people using this opportunity, and is is saving you a lot of money to the advertising. Okay, that's the idea. So that's the team that I have before. Okay, I was uh, working in this uh, play, uh, top team, and then uh, in the team you have what? We have like the 13, 13 people, right? So you will pair up with someone and then do the uh, farming. Okay, give up the flyer. And that's the team that they used to do the advertising. They just uh, drive the car over there, right? With this kind of stickers and then uh, people already know you. You know, you can do something like that, okay? And this is the flyer. You're going to insert to the uh, door. You can do something like that. If you don't want to put in the uh, the mailbox they have. You know, sometimes mailbox, they know you can see it, right? So uh, just do something like that. If they open the door, they see drop out, then probably they'll pick. So that will be a one second, two second, they will look at your fire, okay? And then that's it, they will decide to throw it away or something like that. 
just by the chance you go over there, give them the flyer, talk to them, okay? And the next time you're there, they are not there, right? The owner probably not at home. Then you just insert the, your your file over the door, okay? So that's the uh, the way. Um, the chances are you may get one percent, okay, of the uh, conversion rate. So that means if you lock hundred doors, you may get one customer, get okay? one one uh, client. There's a possibility, okay. But most time you would do 200 probably you may not get one so at the time i spend like uh uh before the COVID, i don't know like we've been spending the whole summer i get a few guys interested actually that selling the house the next uh springtime but then the, the COVID came in so i didn't get really a good result right but during the uh, locking door i actually find someone that actually uh, is looking to buy a similar house in the area so that will be another thing. You're not just uh, getting the chance to sell. You're actually getting some customer or uh, uh, the clients looking for uh, you know property to buy. Okay, that's the idea of the in-person face-to-face. Now today's topic, unless the, uh, you have other uh, better idea, but this is just a rough ideas of what you can do with your farming. Okay. Um, this I uh, basically I divide to online and offline, okay? Uh, because uh, it, it it you know it's evolving, right? Everything is evolving, like uh, the uh, technology, uh, AI, you know, everything, right? Is you don't you don't surprise to see the next thing or next year or next ten year they come out some very new high tech, you know, doing. Uh, with the farming, right, or with the uh, real estate, something like that. So you never know. But of course, it's not that easy. But for now, I think you can still work on the uh, traditional way, you know, to get know people or get online, you know, to do some of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the the fancy way or the, you know, the, the technology, in the, you know, the, the internet or the technology way. So. It's very really hard to say which one is better. Okay, you gotta try. Some sometimes it may feel better in the online way. Okay, sometimes it may feel better in the offline way. Nobody know. You gotta try it. The whole idea of farming is you gotta practice. You gotta try on that. Okay. Uh, but recently I just uh, we we were investigating some of the uh, uh, doing research on or some of the CRM uh, product. And we will find some of the, the good CRM for real estate, okay? Like 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 some of the name like KB Core or something like that. They have a very good marketing campaign for farming, and they have uh, included in their CRM shoot, okay? So what happened is they have this automated CRM campaign, uh, the marketing campaign and um, a target for farming in some area. There's they have automated step. So if you take that campaign, they will start day one, day two, day three, what you need to do. And based on the response, you can chip in the AI, chat GPT to get the uh, uh, interaction going. So that's really good. I mean, I didn't see that kind of product before, but now they, they, they include everything together. So, and then you have a record, right, in your CRM. If somebody respond, you will know that, right? And you have a record and you make phone call, you have a voice record, you text, you have record, everything. So it's good for you to work on some area, some person or your, your own list, your own lame database, your friends, something like that, right? You know what I mean? So CRM is getting the potential. Most of the people using that and uh, getting a very good results. But I'm not saying you will get, uh, you know, become a, a winner or, or champion after CRM. It, it, it gotta be some kind of effort, you know, spending tweak it, you know, try it, uh, doesn't work, try it again, something like tweak, tweak the, uh, the campaign, uh, call the people asking, you know, do a lot of things in order to get success, right? It's not easy. If it's easy, everybody is winner, as I say, okay? And then we have something like target the Facebook, Google, uh, CEO, uh, SEO, right? That's the uh, uh, search engine operation. So this thing, you can all work together 
at the end using the CRM as a campaign, right? I put CRM in the first place. And then you get this uh, Facebook ad, Google ad, right? When people search, they were landing on your CRM website. So in the CRM now, one of the main features is you can have your own website, right? So when people touch your website in the CRM, you will see that. Okay, you will see where people click the link of your website, people ask questions, everything, right? So that's the record in your CRM. So you know who is the people uh, click on your, your website or click on your banner or something like that, right? So that's that's the way you can react, you know, that's your lead, right? So you're gonna manage your need and start campaign on those people, right? They may just uh, uh, through Google or through somewhere, the friend or wherever, click on your website and just by, you know, it just happened by accident or something like that, right? And and then you know this guy, they, they're probably searching on uh, property or searching on pre con project or searching on, you know, how the house works. That's the good chance you'll be first one jump on them, right? And they say, hey, yeah, are you interested in sell? Or interested in buying, you know, and you are the person from wherever, wherever. okay? Then you start conversation. You start engaging, right? That's very important. The prospecting, the first thing you have a need, then you become it will become your prospect, right? And then you got a chance to convert the prospect, become your clients. That's the step-by-step -step thing. You cannot miss that. Unless you know the guy or your friends, your relative, you jump ahead, right? And you directly talk to as a client, right? Otherwise, but it won't be a, a, a scope will be a, a big one, right? I mean, how many friends you have? How many your relatives have? So it's a limit, right? Unless you have a group of, of big chunk of people working on for you before, and you are the big investor, therefore you are one of our big guys in the big agent in our corporate, something like that, right? So offline, you can do something like uh, uh, participate in or sponsor in the local neighborhood event. That's another good thing, right? Reach out, find the events in your neighborhood, okay? And uh, just tell them that you want to be a sponsor, okay? Give out gifts, set up your booth, you know, set up your your banner there, how much you're gonna spend, you know, ask them, you're gonna sponsor, okay? So at the time of the event, you can just go there and set up your area, set up your table and then give your flyer, that kind of thing. That may work pretty good, okay? One of our students is doing that and it works pretty good. And he majorly hook up with the bank, the bank, the brokerage, uh, not bank, mortgage, special, something like that, okay? And that was pretty good, okay? Because the mortgage special, Especially sometimes they have clients, right? And uh, that that would be a good thing. Of course, uh, the uh, how you're gonna deal with that? What kind of deal you're gonna work with those market specialists? That's another story, all right? You can uh, try it out. Uh, volunteer is another thing to get more people. Okay, uh, you each give and take, right? You cannot just always take. You have to give up something. You know, I always believe that that's equal. Okay, partners with the uh, expert. With the uh, you know you know expertise like uh, lawyers, financial planner, tax on inspector, you know, and you can partner with them to give seminar, okay? So home inspector they they have a, so people know our home inspector and then you are the realtor right? So you two can talk together and then you can share your experience, right? And then you say oh that's the new house area and this that house is pretty good. So people get to know you knowing you are your experience and your professional, right? Then they may find you. They may just call you late after the seminar or they get to stay. So this can be offline or can be online seminar as well, right? You can do it with Zoom. But I think the after COVID is more, you know, uh, beneficial, I would say. Uh, you got more chance to meet people offline, okay? TTC bus app, if you have a specific area, farming area, farming road, bus number so you can pay that advertising uh, on the bus. So people living there will see your, uh, you know, your face, see your ads, uh, you know, just going around that will help you, okay? And the last thing I will mention will be the uh, something like the direct mail, not just the fire, okay? 99% of the fire go to the trash, okay? And uh, you have, but you have to create value for your customer, right? You just you're not giving them the uh, the trash, right? They they treat the fire as trash. So most of the time they just find it as a fire and the second 
uh, after the second is end up in the trash. Okay. So, but if it is something like this creative, uh, meaningful, uh, valuable, valuable, they may keep it, right? So somebody may say, oh, well, I will put a cube on there, but cube one will be costly, right? So that's your way to find out what is the best way to do uh, this thing. Pick a one or two, try to first start it with and tweak them, change them, you know, and track them. That's the idea. So see, I just mentioned, right? So because the Xiaomi software, software is good to manage everything together inside one software. Right? That's the good thing. You don't have to use a lot of the different tools. But even some of the CRM, you can just uh, use as a calling software, right? So you make a call and it, it redirect to your cell phone. And every conversation you record it as a voice in the CRM. So later on, you can play back, right? That's the sense good, right? And then another thing is with the uh, tax and everything, right? And then the automation, it would remind you this is the day one of the campaign, you know, what's going to be done and email or the tax, okay? And uh, what you're going to do and uh, post it in the, uh, uh, you know, what, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, you know. So the CRM software, it will be the, the number one things sitting there remind you what to do. And what to expect and what to follow up, what to react. Okay, some of the AI power, the CRM, what what to handle some of the automation reaction like that. Thing. Okay, so it saves a lot of action. So even tailor make the uh, response hack, right? So whenever people touch your website, ask you how much would AI would chip in, AI GPD, whatever it was, oh, uh, you know, nice to meet you or something like that, right? So this house. So it will call the backend to find out the value and uh, respond to the client. And then if further information, it will just remind you in your software, in your CRM software, right? So in the software, you will get all the information about this, uh, this uh, customer or how you're gonna, you know, what kind of uh, uh, things are interesting and what is the background. So you got the, all the piece of uh, story about this client, then later on you can push out more destiny the target the campaign, campaign for this for this uh, group of people. You know what I mean? So if this client is interested in a new uh, property, then you may want to target him as a new pre com project, something like that. Or oh, this guy is only for the resale, then you would work on the, all the result link of property or something like that. You know, and this guy is trying to sell his property, then you will be the, the one that, you know, so that's the purpose, right? So different software, different CRM software, they will have different this campaign template set up already. So you just set up, you just pick one, okay, and start the campaign. He will do the everything for you. Okay, it's just like the automated agent working in the background and then remind you they want to. If something needs your human interaction, then you're gonna do it. Otherwise, everything will go smoothly as automated. Okay, then you will see the result. And once they say, Oh, these guys really wanna sell their house, you better call them and then you just call them. You know what I mean? So that's the idea. So it's it's aimed for long-term relationship for the CRM. It's a customer relationship management, right? So it's gonna it is a return, is the uh, the first stop with the, this uh, need and then prospect, and then you try to convert them. After convert them, you still keep on this long term relationship. Maybe this time you just sell in the house, right? And then after selling, you want to buy, you want to be an investor, then you got better chance to uh, to do business, right? So that's great. That's better than the, uh, you're using your, your uh, notebook to track. That means nothing, right? So target the Facebook. I'm not going to talk with the details, OK? Uh, you can uh, just uh, type in this link and then uh, or search Google. And it will tell you how you're going to do the uh, Facebook ad. Kind of thing. It's a very simple thing. So, and then you will have a target as a real estate, how you're going to do that, something like that. Okay, choose the budget, set schedule, and that's the detail. Could be another training for the uh, Facebook. But uh, I think there's someone there, they, they would uh, help you if you want to spend money on that, okay? 
So you gotta try that. But this one is uh is example from the US. So you better know using that. Okay, that's the United States, but for Canada, Canada, yeah. I mean it could be similar, okay. Area and then you can choose targeting something like that. Age. See, that's the whole bunch of options that you can choose. Uh, important uh, for the uh, the ad, like the Facebook ad or something like that, you will do your content location specific. Okay, you do not just say you're the realtor and you are good in the farming, I mean, you're good in listing, good in uh, buying, something like that. That's not useful, right? Specific for farming, you gotta be the neighborhood specialist, okay? You cannot be special of the whole GTA, then people will say you know nothing, right? Either you know everything or you know nothing. Right? So you gotta say, I know the neighborhood because you work on this neighborhood for so many years, right? Then you're gonna tell them why you are, you are an expert, why you're familiar with this neighborhood. You can something mention something that this new community center open or something new event going on in that, right? So relate to the neighborhood, okay? And then you can say, uh, you, you can you can be the someone to rely on. You're the local expert, okay? You can uh, find a new home or you can sell for them, okay? And call action an image of something that will attract people or the events, okay? That's the that's the idea, right? Of course, this just the uh, the, the sample uh, example, okay? Another thing you can do Google My Business Account, of course, this uh, may have some requirement. I think the uh, the realtor, you can you can do that with your name and then you come up your website, you can click on that. Okay, and uh, right hand side so up. It's just, just the one of example, right? This is the topic. And then, uh, you know, you can type in your name and tell them then it become, you know, all the, the thing come out like your website, realtor.ca, you know, Facebook, Everything about you up there and right hand side will have your uh, probably is a company, okay? Uh, because the, this is uh, his own uh, brokerage, right? This is uh, this guy's brokerage also. So you probably require a business entity there, okay? So, but you have a prep, right? So if you have a prep, then it's not going to be a problem, okay? Uh, Google app, okay? Uh, pay per click keywords, or you call it CPC cost uh, per click. Okay, uh, this is the one you once you type in the keyword, the first one so is app, right? They're all different app, and this app, but the uh, the the people the user may just turn on the app, turn off the app too, right? So then you may not get reach those people, right? They don't want to see the app. You know, they don't want to see the real website, right? But then you spend your money that, but you won't reach those people. But I, I was saying uh, 70% or 60%, they they still leave the app there, right? I don't know if you turn off the app or not, but uh, I turn off the app. I don't want to see the app, right? After I search, I want to see the website. So that's another thing you can try, but it's going to cost. Right, so if you're doing some time in Toronto for the uh, sell my house, ask for cash, if people type in this keyword, okay, and it will, your app will show up, okay, this idea is if people are in this space, and then your app, okay, your website link will show up, uh, your app, basically your, your stuff. And for this position, okay, you are talking about spending per click, Okay, if people click on that, you're pick, you're talking about lower range to higher range between twenty one dollar to thirty one dollar, right? Of course, this one is the range, but it gives you a suggestion. But at the actual time, the auction, the bidding, okay, you may win as the thirty dollars, or you may win something like thirty two. You okay? They just give you the range you can bid on that. Okay, this is the, the suggestion. Okay, you can bid on this guy. It looks like the more right. Is less expensive, okay? less than fifty cents over to so two dollars. You're talking about per click, so that's mean house for sale near my location. If people type in that much, I don't think so, right? So you probably want to sell how to sell my house, right? Or how much my house worth, 
something like that. So this one will close, right? But this one is something like $2 to $8. So click. And how much you're going to spend, right? So if $100 is giving them, you're probably getting like uh, less than 20 click. So people click on that. So of course, they have uh, some kind of uh, algorithm calculation. We'll find out if somebody just do it uh, for, for, for fun or something like that, right? So <laughs> you know, click on that and then you broke, right? Keep asking people to click on this link. <laughs> And, you know, so you you have uh, you have a limitation when right? you have a maximum uh, dollar you're gonna spend five hundred bucks for this campaign right or hundred bucks for this campaign once it's gone it's gone they won't charge you more right you know what I mean so you and then you can buy some of the uh, not not that uh, attractive keywords you know you can try with this guy something with medium competition is a medium is I mean you're gonna spend less money, right? If competitions are high, like this guy, they don't give you any suggestion. So house price in my strict, uh, because it's strict, right? So I don't know why they don't provide. It could be a very higher, right? So medium is not really a medium, right? Medium in here is very high. Lower range is twenty one dollars. You know what I mean? So that's the idea you can buy, but uh, I don't know if you want to spend that kind of money. But if you do have money, then you can spend. Okay. Another way you don't want the app, you want the actual your website going to show up when people search, right? So then you will have to study how Google rank your website, right? Because based on the ranking, your website is going to show up at the top, right? So this is uh this is one of the website doing pretty good, or this is the website would will teach you how to do this SEO things. I mean, you can search on Google and there's a tons of uh, YouTube video or, or the uh, website uh, document telling you how you can uh, optimize your your search engine, uh, something like that, keyword, that kind of thing, right? But firstly, you need to have a website, okay? Uh, and then, uh, and as I say, better hook your website into your CRM, then you can check every single action uh, the people spend on your website, right? You track them, you know who visited, what's the banner they click, something like that, okay? I know one of the disguise, uh, one of our previous uh, agent, uh, he is very good with this banner advertising and uh, try all different way to track people, create a, a you know, whole bunch of websites, a thousand websites, I don't know how many websites do <laughs> this uh, portals and then uh, whatever people click on the banner, he catch them and then he hire one guy just calling these people keep on the website and keep calling them and then he, he create his own vocation now just for a pre combat okay? But uh, I mean, how many success story? I don't know, but this is one of the success story you can do this. Uh, people were saying, okay, you don't only do your offline. No, really no. You can you can also think that you're a big success with the uh, online, okay? But how are you going to do that? How much money are you going to spend? How much time are you going to spend? That's another story. And if you are good in uh, IT, or if you're not good, then you become an IT. Okay? Now, this is the local event I mentioned. You can just go to Google, okay, type in event in Markham, this month, or event in your area, okay? Uh, yeah, something like Scarborough or whatever. Uh, Richmond Hill, you know, you type in your local labor for name and see if they come up with an event. And you can start contact them, you know, ask them if, if you can be the sponsor. Okay? That's the way uh, you can work on. It. Okay. And then uh, for the uh, seminar, also I mentioned, right? You can partner with some of the local experts. Okay? And uh, uh, this is a different topic. I'm not saying you have to do that, right? I mean, if you know someone, uh, maybe your lawyer, uh, something like, uh, or your friend's friend, you know, and you can probably say, okay, I can be a sponsor. I can help or something like that. If you want to give a seminar, okay, I can do something, you know. You guys work out the deal, right? And then you create a seminar, create this campaign, right? And then when you have a CRM ready, right? And then you can just uh, post out your link, right? 
and people will click on the link and redirect to your website, you know what I mean? And then they will start probably asking questions. You get the people visit your website, visit your CRM software, you got all the information. And then when the actual seminar started, right? Then you can share or you can just sit in there and listen, right? And people may have a different question. You can say at the end of the seminar, you can ask question about the, uh, you know, inheritance tax, uh, about the estate, house, property, you know, about the homes that, you know, the secured, you know, something, you know, uh, you know the question raised in the home inspection. You know what I mean? So this is the how they work together, right? This is the realtor. This is the home inspector. And this guy uh, could be the uh, educa education expert for child education, right? Uh, this guy is uh, whatever, okay? So one of them gotta be the realtor. You know what I mean? That's the idea. You plan up, you go together, partner up, you know, and then the, you try to catch the uh, the clients, okay? And you just say, oh, I'm the local expert, right? If you want to sell, you can find me, I help you. And you mentioned, of course you do your study, right? Now, if you have uh, already got your picture, you know, showing in the bus, something like that, that's your picture, right? Sometimes you see the realtor put them, put their, you know, picture on the bus, right? And that's gonna be special uh, area, the road, right? Special road. And then that, that could be the farming area you know, wanna do. You know what I mean? So people in their area already seeing you in the bus most of the time or not, you know, and, uh, you know, they already know you. I know, oh, I remember you. I saw, oh, I, I look familiar. You, you, your face looks familiar. I mean, people will say something like that. So you combine your campaign, seminar, uh, something like that, CRM, right? Flyer, so everything, you know what I mean? So everything, all this come together just to get yourself to be what? To be familiar or to get, to get people to know you. Right. So when they have this need to sell their property, they first in their mind will come up, oh, maybe we should try this guy. That's good. Uh, he is a very active in our local. Probably he knows better, right? And and remember last time he sold the property for a pretty good price. Right. So if you have someone there, you know what I mean? Volunteer, okay, you just search Google, find the area if you, you need volunteer, right? Give and take, as I say. Uh, don't get there with your purpose, okay? Just get there, try to help out. And, uh, you, you know, if you got a chance, that's your chance. If not, just to serve your community. Uh, the last thing I mentioned before is the creative direct mail thing, sorry. You don't want to end up like this, right? You don't want your your flyer may cost you what? 15 cents or 20 cents, per, you know, depends how much money you, you spend, right? But it's going to be $100, right, at least for your flyer. So you don't want to see all your flyer end up like this, you know, the stress. So what's the purpose, right? People don't even look at it, just throw it away. Uh, I got a, a whole bunch of uh, real realtors, uh, Prior, second minute, I try, it just end up in the trash or sometimes go to barbecue. Right, it's not even good for the barbecue because the the, the material, right? So is is meaningless, right? So you want to have something like this, right? Something that meaningful, or uh, something like coupon, right? So something like this one would be very interesting, right? You could come up at the end. You can you can put your face in this advertising, right? A little somewhere, you know, and they can use it, you know, you can uh, include one of the seat, something like that, you know, and that they will may try to, most people like this kind of time, this kind of thing, right? So they can just put it in a, on, a, on a table or somewhere, and this, they can remind them, right? But at least they, they won't just throw it off, okay? So search the web and see some of the creative direct mail, Okay, it will give you some idea to do. Of course, it's not coming cheap, right? It's not, definitely it's not uh, 20 cents or not something like that, but it won't be too, too expensive. It's better to end up in the trash, right? You spend your money on that. 
know what I mean? Okay. So I guess that's the all I, oh yeah, that's the uh, the last one. Uh, the thing I mentioned uh, in, in my last training is the comparing with the old way of the advertising, right? Broadcast search engine is still in the intermediate, but new way is social media, okay? Social media means you can have a collaboration, you can have interact uh, results, right? In not just one direction, it's two directions. People know you, they put in comment, they're gonna give you a like, they're gonna ask you a question, you're gonna answer them, they're gonna dislike you, you know, that's okay, okay? But uh, this is a completely different as the old way, right? So you put them on those websites, uh, you see people would uh, give you the, you know, the reactions, right? They give a response, then you're gonna have uh, work on it, right? Get a lot of people. So I know a lot of the realtors using this one, but this is just probably for Chinese. Uh, Facebook or Instagram is most people use and uh, uh, for English speaking, uh, you know, social media. YouTube, both Chinese, English, right? You can do that. And YouTube, if you do your channel good, you can still earn another income, but don't spend too much time on this video. And, but then you, you become a YouTuber, right? Yeah, you spend too much time and become YouTuber, end up you're not doing very good, but you lose your main career, right? So you are a realtor, okay? So YouTube is gonna help you, okay? It's not gonna to, uh, make it as a main income, okay? Unless you have a lot of time, you like it, and that's uh, right. Meta is another thing that people start working on it, okay? They try to sell the property in the virtual world. I don't know how it work, how how it works, but uh, you may want to try it. I mean, why not? Who knows, right? I mean, Facebook spend everything on Meta, right? And I heard that they start buying things in in the in the Meta world, right? So, uh, and you gotta buy the 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 Google, right? You gotta buy the uh, the things that you know you can uh, start playing with. Okay, uh, um, I think Apple have a new product with this, right? So, I mean, if you have the first, you know, opportunity, you're getting first, you're getting earlier, it's less competition, right? It's a blue ocean. Later on, everybody knowing that, then it becomes red ocean. Red ocean, red option, uh, ocean. Ocean means uh, what? Uh, that's the uh, the way you're talking about computation, right? That's a bloody, bloody rule. It's a bloody computation. Rule means nobody, right? So you can you can probably uh, get most of the profit out of that. Okay, so that's it for the uh, all the uh, uh, things I'm gonna cover for today. And uh, if you have uh, questions, you can start asking, and then I will turn off. Uh, recording.